standing by for terminal count. À tous les DDO, attention pour les deux comptes finales. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top. And we have engine start. And lift off. Décollage, lift off from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. Punching a hole through the clouds, 20 seconds into the flight, good pitch program reported. Trajectory nominal. Vehicle performance is nominal. The Ariane 5 rocket continues uh, to fly uphill in nominal fashion. The rumble of the powerful the Ariane 5 now nominal. being felt here in the control center. 3D animation. We can hear the noise and feel the vibrations here. You're right, Rob. Yeah, impressive. 13 kilometers in altitude, seven kilometers down range, traveling uh, about uh, 0.6 kilometers per second. Les paramètres à bord sont normaux. The trajectory reported to be nominal by Jean-Luc Voyer, the uh, range operations manager. You can see at the bottom of your screen, the yellow line is the trajectory plot, perfectly overlaid over the green line, which was the pre-launch trajectory. One minute, 41 seconds into the flight, about 40 seconds away from shutdown of the solid rocket boosters. Coming up on the two minute mark into the flight, When it detects the threshold on acceleration, the dis not the deceleration, but uh, less acceleration for the... Tous les sont normaux. Uh, uh, everything is okay. Everything is normal. Two and minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. When the computer detects this threshold, it will separate. Separation des EAP. Done. We have confirmation of solid rocket booster separation from Jean-Luc Voyer. This coming at an altitude of 44 miles. The Ariane 5 and James Webb traveling almost 5,000 miles an hour. Useful fairing. And let's go down to the floor uh, in the Jupiter Control Center to Raphael Chevrier of Ariane Spas. Raphael, so far so good. Hi, Rob. So far so good. Everything is nominal, as uh, we say, when attitude and trajectory of the Ariane 5 is going perfectly well, as you can see also on the yellow line, de la coiffe. on the screen, we had the confirmation of the uh, separation of the two solid boosters and now of the fairing, meaning that we have crossed the limits of the atmosphere. So everything is going super good. And the DDO at upper stage. stage. And Raphael Chevrier down uh, in the fishbowl. Uh, so far, so good. Yes, Rob, we have the confirmation of the separation of the main stage and the ignition the of the upper stage. The trajectory is perfectly nominal. This is a very important moment for us because it's always a, re uh, a challenge to switch on a cryogenic engine in space condition. And we are now at 220 kilometers of altitude. Speed is a bit more than seven kilometers per second. As we enter now the second stage of uh, the second uh, phase uh, of uh, the flight, the upper stage is going to power for about, calm. for about 16 minutes to place Webb on its transfer orbit. And right now, everything is again nominal, as the DDO just said. And a short time from now, uh, the uh, so called sawtooth maneuver. Uh, will get underway the, again uh, like rocking a baby in a cradle. This will be a maneuver to keep webs up. And the telescope controllers uh, in Baltimore uh, confirming that uh, all of the uh, function uh, parameters for the James Webb Space Telescope have been loaded on board the telescope. Uh, we are expecting uh, web separation at the 27 minute 7 second mark here into the flight.
Just over a minute from now, Springs will gently push Webb away from the upper stage of the Ariane 5. As it moves further and further away from uh, the upper stage, uh, there'll be what uh, we refer to as a collision avoidance maneuver. Yes, yes, Rob, exactly. The springs already will give some distancing, of course, between the two objects, between the telescope and the upper stage. And then the upper stage will leave the trajectory of the telescope and makes a special maneuver to pass the telescope and heads towards a liberation orbit and leaves the telescope on its, on its uh, orbit uh, without any risk of collision and without any risk of pollution towards the telescope. And we're about uh, 17 seconds away from web separation. Separation Web Space Telescope. Go Web! We do have confirmation of observatory separation. The James Webb Space Telescope, amidst applause here in the Mission Control Center, now taking its first steps in pursuit of cosmological discovery. It was a perfect ride to orbit. And all of the uh, separation uh, sequence events are running in good fashion, according to the telescope controllers. And there is the view uh, from the upper stage camera on the Ariane 5, looking at the James Webb Space Telescope as it moves uh, gently away from go its ahead, launch go. vehicle. Fantastic pictures of this telescope. Go web, go web. Yes, go web. Ironically enough, as we marvel on uh, this view from the upper stage camera, this will be humanity's last view of the James Webb te Space Telescope as it moves to its work uh, place about a million miles away from Earth. Yes, you're right, Rob. And down uh, in the fishbowl uh, where there is jubilation, let's go to Raphael uh, Chevrier of Ariane Spas. And before we do that, uh, Raphael, uh, uh, a bit earlier than planned, but there is the solar array having been deployed. James Webb now uh, has its array out as we stand by for a confirmation that it is power positive. Hey, Rob. J'entends pas ce qu'il me dit. Il m'a appelé ou pas Il m'a appelé ou pas, Romain Non, il t'a pas appelé. And there it is. There's your critical call. James Webb not only has Space Telescope Science Institute, their work just beginning on a new era of scientific observations. Uh, Luce Fabregat, uh, it was a smooth ride to orbit. Everything went uh, by the book, almost like a simulation without any problems. And uh, we thank you for all of your insight throughout the course of the day. Thanks to you, Rob, and really a great achievement. I have many faces and names now coming up to my mind, and uh, really you can be proud of what, uh, what was achieved on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. Thanks a lot to you. Tremendous uh, jubilation here in the uh, control center. You're looking at Jean-Luc uh, Voyer, the range operations manager. Quite a Christmas present for the world's astronomers as the James Webb Space Telescope begins its life heading towards deep space. With that, uh, we're going to go back.